uh, Civic Lab. Uh, Civic Lab is a, um, I, I, we're not quite there yet, but I really see it as a maker space to me. We're, uh, we're oh, I'll tell you more about that later. But uh, to me, it, it is, it's a pure production space. And uh, it's, uh, it's in the West Loop. Um, it's at 114 North Aberdeen, really close to the Morgan Green Pink Line, the Halstead Bus, et cetera, things like this. Um, this is what it looked like when we move in. Um, we you know, had nothing, and this is what it looks like uh, now. I'm not showing you the whole space, obviously, but we built all these desks, whiteboards, et cetera. So we really kind of try to see it as like a democracy, democracy design studio. Um, to me, it's also kind of like a 3D printer, uh, which is a toolkit. Uh, and so the software of this 3D printer, you have coders and journalists and designers, open hardware, teachers, gardeners, lawyers, all these people. Um, and we're printing out little products of democracy in you know, different sort of plastics. And one thing that we're adding to this maker mix, which is, again, it's not the space that I came from. It's my, uh, my the co-founder. My other co-founder is a guy named Tom Tresser. Um, this is what kind of he uh, brought to the table is community organizing. So we have a bunch of things that we do at Civic Lab. Um, we have co-working space. I'm ashamed to put these prices now with uh, this guy right here. Uh, right? We, 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 we're very, uh, we really tried to be affordable, but you guys just keep on taking it down. But anyway, we currently we have floating desks for $100. I'll give you two for 10 uh, We have fixed desks for $200. You can have those for free. Um, we have some really great uh, coworkers there. Um, there's Chicago Votes. This is Chicago Votes. This is a strategy meeting that they did in our conference room. Uh, we used to have somebody from the Working Families Party with us. We also have the Young Invincibles. They're working on getting young people signed up for health care. We also have Move to Amend, who has the easiest job possible, which is to get something ratified on the Constitution. <laughs> it should be no problem. <laughs> I love these guys. Um, so what a lot of people uh, uh, think, they say, oh, well, I don't want to work there. I'm not an activist. And that is flat out wrong. If you are somebody who cares about the city, and you care about changing the city, and you sell state knives, hearing aids, whatever, please come to us. We work there. We're trying to develop um, a community. So besides co-working, we also do classes. Classes we do, um, they're at the intersection of uh, civics and making stuff. And right in between, I think, is where civic media is. So on the civics end, we have classes about uh, tips. Is the city really broke? Uh, Welcome to the machine, which is a class that never took place, but I still think it's a catchy title because I like being void. Um, and uh, things about PRISM and the NSA. Um, on the making stuff then, we teach computer programming. Uh, we're hopefully getting some silk screening equipment because I really love silk screening. Um, hydroponics, um, DIY hydroponics, and DIY spectrometry as well. Um, some classes that we've had, this was um, how to investigate elected officials. I know there's a lot of journalists here who might be interested in that. We had uh, vegan fast food cooking. Um, these are these guys. Oh, this is dark for this. But anyway, um, delicious food uh, that was made there. We had DIY hydroponics, um, which I really encourage you to go to Modern Sprout. He makes a really awesome uh, planter that you can use. These are people building uh, these DIY hydroponic kits that he does. Um, I teach a class called Design for Empowerment, which I uh, have was open source to me from uh, a woman at the High Low Tech at the Media Lab. Um, and I didn't have any pictures of us, but this is something that we wrote one time. And doesn't that look like interesting stuff that you could not have? <laughs> look at it. It's got arrows, oh, arrows. And circles, and all sorts of stuff. So come to it. Um, you can see our classes at uh, civiclab.eventbrite.com. We are also a meeting space for people. We have been the meeting space for the Raise Your Hand Coalition of Illinois. Um, this is them having a planning meeting. Um, we are also a, the proud meeting space for Restore the Fourth. They're working on the NSA spying situation. Uh, here's them doing some work. Um, actually, could I have the lights off, or is that a problem for people? That's the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that. These pictures are pretty now. So um, they had a uh, they had a protest. They had a poster making party. So this is all of us uh, making posters here. Uh, this is mine. I did not come up with this, um, but uh, I was very proud of what it was. Um, this was at the actual protest, which I love. If you've seen Office Space, we've got um, yeah. If you could stop spying on us, that would be great. And uh, Futurama, which apparently you guys don't watch, so forget it. And uh, this is us kind of doing Abbey Road on uh, Michigan Avenue with our stuff and people looking at us and going, well, I have no idea what is happening in my life right now. We only picked up one guy joined us. He was coming out of a restaurant. He had like leftover spaghetti. And he just went, yes, and he came. So <laughs> uh, we did it. Anyway, we also house the Chicago Time Exchange, um, which is, uh, I can talk about time making another time. Um, but here's a guy having fun after uh, they were meeting and doing stuff. Um, we had the Chicago Women Developers group uh, come, and that was really fun as well. 
We also do outreach. Um, we've done some citizen science. Um, Eve and Ala hooked me up with um, this group, the Garfield Garden Park Network, which was working with some service learning, learning students in, uh, uh, at a high school. Um, definitely go check out their work at freedomgames.org. Yes. Yes. Um, really amazing stuff. Got to do a shout out. This is us um, sending up the balloon. This is a kit from the public laboratory, another great site. Um, so this is us sending up a balloon, and uh, this is what we got back. And I like to say, there's absolutely nothing better than disappointing children. So, uh, it was better than that. nice that we're not. I went through all of them. Um, oh, yeah. There, oh, God, it was so funny. Anyway, um, there were other things that happened. It was a great day. Um, Eve made a, uh, a, a sprint to get new batteries. It was amazing. Uh, so this is uh, from another thing you can do. You can take a camera, a $60 camera, take out the infrared filter. Cameras accept infrared light. They actually have to put a filter in to block it out. You take it out. You put on a, um, a gel, uh, uh, a gel from uh, like theater, this blue gel. And then you can get something called the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. And that tells you the health of planets. That's a ratio of infrared light to blue light. $60 kit. It's really amazing. Um, just so you can show that this does work, um, this is the first thing we did as a test. Um, my friend Matthew Lavoie, he does labyrinths on uh, the beach. Um, and just to give you an idea of scale, where it says Chicago Labyrinth, that was made in the tracks of a car. Um, and here's um, Eve and I um, discussing things as the balloon. <laughs> so um, we're also we do um, uh, also for outreach. We're doing a workshop on parental engagement. This is in uh, collaboration with Three by Three Design. Um, it was originally about building reuse, and so we did all these interviews. And in every interview, it just seemed to be the case that people we were trying to find organizations to partner with to talk to in these communities that had uh, empty buildings, and it was impossible. And somebody that I interviewed said, "Well." Well, this is like the school and the liquor store problem, that, which is that somebody at a meeting when the schools were closing stood up and said, this community only has two things, a school and a liquor store, and you're taking the school. So mm -hmm. one of the things that that revealed was that parental engagement at, on a whole, uh, so in places where schools were saved, it was easy to find people communities and parental engagement. So now this is something we're um, exploring. And the number one theme was that. So we switched gears. We're working with a lot of great groups to put on a workshop to um, kind of unpack that issue. We're also working on this thing called My Place, um, which is Media for Youth Participatory Learning and Civic Engagement. It was originally called the Mapping Project. And then we just found out yesterday that literally somebody did the same project and called it that. So um, <laughs> it stood for Media Action, Media Action Project. So we changed it. This is it now. Um, and uh, it's with uh, UIC and um, the School of Education and Social Policy. Um, so basically, in partnership with them, we're getting a bunch of high schoolers together. We're going to give them uh, GPS equipment and media tools. And we're going to have them kind of retell stories that are in their community. And um, we want to just establish the perspectives of young people as a unique and informative in the process of uh, community change. And we also want to allow people to reinvent maps of their communities with the stories that they want to tell. Uh, we also do events. Yay, those are people having fun on a rooftop. We did something for Chicago Ideas Week in Change, Illinois. It was called um, You Draw the Maps. And it was a competition to redraw the district maps in Chicago. One group, this group, did it based on uh, politics. And the sort of smaller group here did it based on what one would actually base it on. Um, we had the global. Is the district? Yes, thank you, yes. Or it could have been legislative, not sure. Shouldn't have been so close to say that. Anyway, uh, we had the Global Cardboard Challenge. Um, this is uh, just kids and having great times and making fun stuff. I don't know why. This one I just think is really funny. For some reason, like the kid made himself a new face. This is us having a great time with um, cardboard. Um, we also had uh, another event we had was uh, the Holiday Party for Democracy in Action. Um, we are coming up. We're having an event. Um, so these are my announcements. We're having. We're starting a monthly thing called What's Possible Chicago, where we explore a theme from different angles. Um, and this month is space. We're going to discuss outer space, public space, maker space, performance space, and private space. If you have a story, a deeply personal story that you want to tell, please come find me. Sharing Economy Week. We had a big skill share. People taught acro yoga. We had a huge free sale. We're also having game night. And uh, on the 24th and 25th, we're having something called the Great Chicago Build Out, which is going to be at Multiculti. And it's kind of like a hackathon, but it's not really limited to just computational problems. It's also just limited to community problems in general. So that kind of covers like the soup that we're trying to create in this soup of serendipity that we're trying to have at Civic Lab. Um, but getting back to this printer analogy, um, let's talk about